guys. Today I'm at Arsenal Metro Station, which has a KF Food Market directly across, which I'll show you a little bit later. It's my favorite place to kind of come hang out. It's beautiful. It's somewhere that impresses every tourist I've ever been, I've ever brought here. It's a great place for dates. And we're gonna be looking at this apartment right here, Kitty Cat Corner Food Market. So Arsenal Metro Station is one stop from Kashadik, the very historical center of the city. And right across the street from the Metro Station is Kia Food Market. If anyone's been a timeout market in Lisbon, I think it's the same concept. And this area is kind of like Brooklyn, where they gentrified the whole place. These all used to be like some kind of a factories, or is it? Yeah. Do you know what they used to produce here? No, like I, I know that the name of this Factory was Arsenal. Okay. But other than that, I don't know whether it would be. Maybe ammunition. It's Arsenal. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. And now it is the hipster's paradise. Because really, I, and like just nice restaurants in general. Yeah. Maybe you can ask them. They, I bet mean, they know if uh, what they used to produce here. Okay. Or, yeah, I told you. Yeah. I <laughs> Oh, so this factory is killed Hitler. Oh, спасибо. Had a show. Thank you. Where are you? Uh, Bush, Bush. Bush? Bush. 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 Rockman, so so Rockman. She, oh, she's ta Tajiki. Yeah, oh, class, class. Salam. <laughs> At a class. Adani Vreme, Adani Vreme, Zelensky. Grezdani Ukraine. Okay, Ocean class. Okay, okay. Spasibo Bushoy. Atene American in dates. I don't look American, I know. Yeah, he has nice. In dates. Right? Yeah. Grezdani uh, Ukraine, eh, America, uh -huh. Anatia. In dates. Uh, she says, "What's your uh, like nationality?" Yeah, uh, Asian, uh, okay. Mongolian, uh, Kataiski uh, mix. Da. Good. <laughs> diak, diak. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. So I was right. This yeah. place used to produce weapons yeah. and arms to yeah. destroy the uh, you know whatever troops. But now it's destroying our appetites. Yeah. And our our thirst for actual spritz because <laughs> that's what it's known for now, literally. Yeah. So this is the Kiev food market, guys. During the summer, lots of people sit outside, but it is winter now, or at least autumn. We do have an apple spritz van. But here we go, guys. I've never seen the drinks more beautiful than here, you know? It's really beautiful. Check it out. And voila. Welcome to the Kiev food market, guys. Really, really beautiful spot. It's two floors. We have different coffee shops. We have all these different restaurants people like hanging out in. Sushi, Asian food, Vietnamese food, Chinese food. It's basically Time Out Lisbon, but in Kiev. And of course, there's two bars. There's the wine bar upstairs, and there's this uh, kind of whiskey cocktail bar downstairs. What do you think? Yeah, I think this place is really awesome. And uh, the, the best part is that you can really eat whatever you want. Yeah. Food court, but yeah. in a really yeah. presentable way. Yeah, I mean, honestly, personally, I would rather go to that. Like, I would use this to explore different restaurants and then go to the actual restaurant to get full service. But at the same time, as like a tourist, if you're here for a few days, this is the best place to go. Yeah. Not only do you like meet people, it's like a very social place, uh, a good place for dates, a good place to hang out with friends, but also, as you said, you can kind of just try different things. So, you know, whether you want to come for a drink or if you want to come for food, this is the 
and you know it's, it's a little bit more expensive than other places but still three dollars for beer for craft beer very reasonable so we've chosen we've chosen uh, new yorker new yorker okay i'll, I'll do the same just a tough uh two new yorker for jowls and what do you want to drink So, I offered to treat Alex to some lunch. Out of all these places, he chose a hot dog. Why? I don't know, because it's actually a famous hot dog place. Because uh, I heard that they make this meat, uh, it's a homemade sausage. Ah. So, that's why it's a craft. Craft sausage. And we have craft uh, drinks. This is called Morse, which is like what your grandmother would make out of like dried fruit. Yeah. So cheers. Hopefully we get this apartment. We made the offer. We're gonna wait to hear back from the agent and see what they say. But cool area. I like it. This bad boy is a try. Oh my god. They actually look pretty good, man. Oh shit. Story you mine. dropped your earth. <laughs> yeah. It's too much goodness. I didn't know it was so heavy. It's weird that's on a white bread though, but it looks nothing like a New York dog. Yeah. But looks good. Take a bite. Okay, I don't know how to start. balcony area a bunch of other very cool restaurants but also just like a nice view as well so we just got done eating the most fancy hot dog I've ever had in my life yeah. actually very good very good definitely not like a New York hot dog but I think they say that because the condiments like the mustard was yeah. good, good and the onions but anyways I want to show you something guys right here so we have a whole row of actual sit-down restaurants, all very nice by the way. Look at this, King Kong. But also, have you been inside there, Creative States? Nope. It's a co-working space, so I've always wanted to check it out because it's right across the street. Yeah, let's go. How cool would that be? You live in right there, you have an office across the street, and then you meet people for drinks or some food right there, easy. A beautiful design as well, all these buildings. Is this a coffee shop? Uh, it's a coffee shop, yeah. It's coffee shop. Oh, that'd be perfect. That's a coffee shop. But it, looks, it doesn't look like a normal coffee shop. It doesn't. Wow, well, look at these decorations. So that's the coffee shop. Yeah. But what is this? It's no office, idea. maybe. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Rent and conference rooms, uh, stuff like that. Oh, it's okay. Like office space. It's really cool design. I like it. Happy Halloween. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So this is Creative States. Of course. Why would they be fake pumpkins? Spooky. Spooky. So hot in here. All right, so we're gonna do a little tour of this space. Uh, here you can see the work, but uh, here's no place uh, like uh, every day you come and sit in one place. Okay, so you it's can... like open space. Yes, yeah. it's open okay. space. This is double lounge, uh, there's free uh, tea, coffee, snacks, oh, nice. everything you want. Oh, wow. Yes, it's open. Okay. So. Uh, Maybe some cola, maybe some stickers. And, uh, this is not the only open area space. So there's a few. Okay, yeah, can I take a look? Yeah. We have different menus uh, for 10 people, or 8, okay. 6, 4, 5 people. So this is the second floor open area. A lot more like an actual corking space. And all of it's open, yes? Yes. Okay. I like it. It's very nice. We have two packages for open space area. Okay. Is uh, three hundred dollars for months. Uh -huh. 
you can come work from till nine, from nine till ten. Okay. Uh, and we have the second package is three hundred fifty dollars, uh -huh. and it's package roaming. Twenty four hours. Right. Uh, yes, okay. roaming is twenty four hours, and you have access to every Creative State location. Ah, I see. Okay. In Gulliver uh, and Senator State. Oh, also okay, cool. So kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. We have chef. Oh, you have a chef. Yes, she can cook for you. Okay, so this is like a normal restaurant? Okay, and we have also the partner's fridge. Uh -huh. There is also different type of food yeah. and you can pay for oh. them by yeah. yourself. Okay, nice. Let's take a look at the menu. So we have reasonably priced food actually. Yeah. Well, it's not ready for okay. you. What do they have? So this is... Yeah, there's a nice shower room. It's like a nice airport uh, shower. So eventually there will be a sleeping capsule? Uh, for now it's uh, not ready, mm -hmm. uh, but we have sleeping capsules on another location. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. And there was a pool bar too. Can you tell us? If it's, if it's support me. Let's test it. One. Johnny, what's your weight? Uh, maybe 108 kilos. <laughs> 108 kilos. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it works. <laughs> oh, a shower? Well, it's a lot. It's okay. Yeah, oh, for two people. Like for you and a co worker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or maybe us together. <laughs> uh, you can have your own. All the end there. So you can have it. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we have Skype rooms. Oh, good. So, if you have a call, maybe it's on. Yeah, it's well. important, yeah. You, can, uh, you will have access to okay. our app, Creative States. Uh, and uh, there you can uh, book for free okay. Skype. Can I see the Skype? Yes, yes, of course. It's on the first floor. So, so this one, somebody just uh, moved in probably. Logo is loading. Two hours in a day for guests. Uh, you can every oh. day. Yes, every okay. day. Two hours is for food. Okay, I'll come. Yeah. But okay. then every uh, uh, every hour uh -huh. for every guest is five dollars. After. After. After two hours. Okay, it's not too bad actually. Okay. Actually. Eight one. So you can see. Mm, quite crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they look like they're all full. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one very You can yes, you can. You can. Also, we have uh, on a. Oh, it's good. Yeah, because a lot of them they're either stuffy. Yes, and there's. Can you close? I want to see if there's echo. Can you close the door? Thank you. So yeah, unfortunately, it's very echoey. Yeah, man. It's, 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 yeah but it's echoey in there. Yeah. So it's bad for like recording it's, like a uh, conference call. Or also, something. we have yeah. self lamp, so if you need it, you can use okay. it. Let me show you our truck. Okay. But it will be on the street, so maybe you want to jacket. The jacket yes. No, I saw. I saw it outside. Ah. <laughs> Back one. Oh, yes. we can just we can just very, look very quick. Okay. <laughs> we can look and uh, go this fast, way. Fast, fast, yeah. Yeah. The so the two problems with every Skype room I've ever seen around the world is either they're dark and small and then like there's no air. Mm -hmm. This one they solved it by having glass and- That's still their corporate secret. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> this one they solved it by being glass and having their own air, which is very good. But it's echoey because of the glass mm -hmm. maybe and there's no like foam. So like if you ever had like a podcast interview or something, yeah, it would just be like, yeah. But for a call, it's okay. It's funny because it's $30 per day. Uh -huh. Most Ukrainians don't make that much a day. Yeah, but it's more for to discourage people from day pass. Uh -huh. It's more to like get people to sign up for, wait, wait. for monthly. Yes, you can. Okay, and how much per month? 300. Yeah, yeah, we can. I'm not cold. Moi Mushina. Moi. How do you say strong? Okay, how do you say we're strong? Okay. We're Sini. We're Sini. I got it. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Be careful, please. Okay. Like this. <laughs> Does it break easy or? <laughs> you can fall down. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I understand why. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I think it's more de for design. Uh, this literally feels like my corporate meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Put them in the corner. Show me how it works. It's a sleeping pot. Yeah? It's a nap pot, like a hammock. It's a hammock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like you're sitting here. So, so you're like, how are you supposed to do it? Like yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. oh. Yeah. lay down again. Oh, that's a cool, cool shot. Adin, do la. Do I look sexy? Oh, like okay. This. So, we're checking the speed test. So it's 85 down, 90 down, very fast. Let's check the upload. Oh, it's almost 100. We're going to break. Oh, we broke 100. Oh, oh. and most importantly, let's check the upload. What? Why is no upload speed? Let's try again. See, John doesn't like Tess.com. He doesn't trust my ways. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I think because you know what? Most people, they only care about download because they're just yeah, consu they're consumers. Yeah. But if you're like a producer, con creator. It's true. Yeah. So 66 and 66, they catch up. Very good. Okay. Yeah, cool. Do you like it? I love it. So Alex, what did you think of this creative space? Uh, I think it's uh, very fancy and very nice. Uh -huh. it, uh, it feels nice inside. Yeah. I'm not sure about the price because I was trying to justify what your weight should be to, yeah. to, to work there. But I think for big companies, it's uh -huh. a perfect spot, especially for somebody who wants to build a, a brand or an image. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, like, no one's really going to see it anyways. Uh, I actually think that the best way to do it would be if like there's two people kind of sharing a membership or we got yeah. two hours free every day yeah and then like if i wanted to work for four hours it'd just be like you know 10 bucks so which would be less than my own membership actually so i don't think anyone does that i think that's more like if you want to collaborate like sometimes yeah. once in a while it's hard to justify 300 bucks a month for an open space without your own office because uh, you could just go to a coffee shop and work for three hours so I think they're thinking as right now it's quarantine, uh -huh. right? Not everybody's working uh, from the office. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to rent an office permanently. Yeah. But for those who do, we will just buy those memberships yeah. and they'll be happy. Yeah. For, for companies, it's absolutely worth it. And actually, to yeah. be fair, in the US, it's $300 a month as well. But it's Ukraine, right? Yeah. So it is very beautiful, I would say. Like, it's yeah. top notch. It is hard to justify unless you're making... You'd have to make three, four that grand a month just to kind of like even just if you're making less than three grand a month don't even think about it yeah if you're making more than that you can consider it and yeah. if you really need to collaborate and you need somewhere like you need these extra functions like a meeting room once in a while or something yeah that's absolutely worth it but for my type of work I would, you know what i would do i would get the 10 they have a 10 day a month pass for 180 that i could justify that makes sense that i can use because other days i work from home or work for a coffee shop but how cool is it that it's right across the street? It's like literally, we're, we're, okay, look. That's the apartment. Ribs, Metro. Here are all these restaurants. Creative States, co-working space, kid food market. And my favorite bar right down the street. So I really hope this guy's accepts the offer. So this is the building that we're gonna look at with a coffee shop downstairs. Here is Arsenal Metro Station which is one stop away from the city center. Rimna and Lviv uh, Chocolates, a great place. And this is the Kia Food Market. So this little block right here, just like within you know, 30 seconds of each other, has everything that you're gonna want on a weekend. So I'm looking at this place as a potential rental for Airbnb. And I guarantee anyone who stays here is gonna love it. The problem is most tourists don't know about this area. So it's not the historical city center that most tourists stay at. This is the place that they should be staying at, they knew about. So it is a little bit of a gamble to buy a place and rent it out when there's, this is not a popular place for rentals. But I guarantee you, people will love it here. Let me show you around the place and then we'll do the apartment tour just so you have an idea. So guys, I am with my buddy Alex, which you've seen in the largest donor kebab video. And he's gonna be showing, you're the one that found the place. So we're gonna be meeting with the agent 
uh, and check out this place. But there's actually two of them for sale in this building, which worries me a little bit. But we can do a little investigation. <laughs> Kajibista. Find out why these are for sale in such a good location. Let's see what they got. Maybe it's these guys here. So here, entrance, maybe number six. Hello. Sorry we're a little bit late. I'm Johnny. Nice to meet you. Ali. Alright. Uh, yeah. yeah, I speak English. Uh, I will be helping Johnny. Uh, I speak Hebrew. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So entrance number six. Right off. Okay, perfect. Hello. Just with Okay, so no elevator, unfortunately. Fourth floor. Hello, Jessica. I took my shoes off. No, no, okay. Give me a problem. No, no, I, I prefer to take it off. Okay. So here's the entrance. Ceilings are not super high, but they're okay. Actually, they're. Do you know how high? They're 3.2. Okay. Oh, so it is pretty high. Uh, you know why it seems a little bit lower? Because uh, they actually lowered it a little bit with plasterboard. Ah. I didn't see it right away. Does the light work? Okay. So the lights are not working. Yeah, he says they we need to replace the bolts. Okay, so here's the entrance. It's kind of a change. You see everything at once, but mm -hmm. it's like a circle. Sixty square meters. Sixty. Okay. Well, what is this made from? This can be removed. This can be removed. You can destroy it, and it will be a working fireplace. Okay. Here's the kitchen. Actually, I like this. It's really nice. Good size. It's a small kitchen, but it's functional. I think it's fine. It's gas, she says. Okay. Gas. That's good. And I'm assuming the water, everything works. Yeah. And there's a fire uh, heating element. Okay. So let's see. Here's the view from this window. Oh, you know what? Their, their heater is on already. Yeah, yeah. Mine's not. Well, let's see. That's, <laughs> that's good. Luxurious actually. district. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, thank you to okay. the floors. Here. Yeah, the wood. I thought you can find the poly in there. These are the original, original floors? floors. Wow. Yeah, I can see the stars in it. It's cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's the bathroom. Small bathroom, but it's functional. I'm assuming everything works. Because they were living here. It's always good when you see people actually living here. Because then you know it. everything works, yeah. Jocelyn, Jocelyn. So we have, this is the living room or bedroom? It's a living room. Okay. Okay. Uh, she says uh, like nothing has been changed. The walls are uh, like the planning is original. Okay. So, so you can you can destroy it if you want to. Okay. Oh nice. Okay. And actually, but this is. I don't think that's the original wall. Was the plastic work? Yeah. Do you think this is one forty or what's what size do you think? It's it is? Uh, 1.4. Yeah, 140. Okay, but actually, it fits fits a bed. You know, it's pretty curtain here. So, bedroom, small bedroom. Here's the living room. Same ceilings. We have here the wood. The floors are nice, actually. How loud is it at night from the street? Oh, is it okay? Okay. But like, uh, I know there's some bars and clubs here. Is it loud? Well, I don't really hear the people from the bars. Uh -huh. Mostly like the cars. Okay. Uh, oh, cool. About companies. Okay. Oh, thank you. And uh, why are you moving? 
I'm not moving. <laughs> oh, sorry. She's She's oh, you're the renter. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. And uh, would you want to stay if if uh, this is bought? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, can I ask how much you're paying per month? Uh, I don't think I can discuss this. Okay. I'm not sure. As far as we scored per month, it's. I think it's better to discuss with the renter. Yeah. Это это я могу сказать только с разрешения хозяйки. Yeah, with the approval of the owner. Okay, all right. I guess we can ask. Ну то есть как бы. Okay, no problem. But. Договоренность это их, поэтому ну. Okay. Sorry. Okay. But you live been living here for a while or? Uh, like for a year. Maybe. Okay. And everything is okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that's <laughs> enough. City center. Yeah. yeah. What about the neighbors? That's fine. Mm -hmm. okay. Old people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So really nice area actually. Everything is good. All right. Well, thank you so much for mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. Sorry for bothering. Yeah. Okay. So here's the room. Actually, my original idea, I don't think it's even possible, was to make this into two rooms, but I think it's, it wouldn't work. But this could be the living room, and this can be like a small bedroom. Yeah. If I like put a curtain or something here. Yeah. They have one more room. Yeah, okay. Let's take the other room. Okay, so this is the other room, which is very bright. Same kind of. This one looks more like it would be a living room, though. I think it's better for a bedroom if you like lights. So I think that's the idea. Also, check out they have nice like balcony. balcony. Yeah. Yeah. And this. Not view. many people in the city have balconies like this. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually really cool. And the food market is literally right there. Also, I notice it's really warm. Yeah. Inside. So like she says you can build a couple more bricks on top of that. Okay. To to make sure like it's uh, But this is a I'm sure it's a historical building. We I mean, yeah. have to have permission for But that. they don't care. In Ukraine they don't care, but you may have called them at some point. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like I, I would have to do it legally. Yeah. Okay. So this could be probably the Bedroom, I guess. It's a, it's a bedroom, yeah. It's for sure. It's a bedroom. Yeah, yeah. And that one is a guest guest bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sure. Mm, I just feel like this is such a big bedroom for no reason, you know. And you know what it is? It's this furniture that makes it feel like a living room. Yeah. Like. Exactly. Yeah, and this is a big bed. Like this room is so big that I feel like it's a waste if it's just a bedroom, especially because it has like nice uh, light. So I figured out, I think I would swap it actually. It's up to you, man. Yeah. Okay. If, if, if I were to leave here, I, I would leave it as a better because yeah. I like to wake up and it's, you know, really right. bright. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Yeah, she says it, there are a lot of windows, it's very bright. Okay. Okay, so again, so here was the entrance. We had a small closet here for just the clothes. Mm -hmm. So you put a can, bench here. So she says this can be dismantled. Okay. Uh, I, can, I figure it out. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, uh huh. So this is a column. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so this that's is a, not... you, you can. Okay. Yeah, this is the foundational wall. So ventilation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So let me just think what I would do. I would get rid of this. Put a bench. Yeah. Redo this. Fix these lights. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I have I have the layout anyway, so I can think about it later. Yeah. Okay. Спасибо, дякую. So guys, we looked at the apartment with Dimitri from Logovis and my buddy Alex, and actually I made an offer. So one hundred fifty-five thousand uh, plus three percent plus one percent. I'll explain it later, but I hope they accept it because that's what I'm offering today. But. Uh, the owner, who knows what he says, but if he says okay, then I think we'll, we'll you might have a, another apartment. Okay, good luck. Yeah, that was pretty fast. Well, you know what? I'm a fast guy. I know yeah. it's like not, sometimes it's bad, but sometimes it's good because when there's a good deal and a good location, things go fast, you know? Yeah. And the thing is, at the end of the day, even though I offered $155,000, yeah. which is 7000 above his original asking, 
but actually 13,000 less than their dream offer. Yeah. So basically to explain, right? Yeah. You found this place for 148,000 yeah. and you called and they said it's off the market. Yeah. Uh, but they weren't like it's sold. They were like, we're not sure. It's a, it's owners no so longer selling. Yeah, right? exactly. Actually, it's um, it's kind of weird. Um, so because uh, I wasn't able to find this guy, the yeah. original realtor. Uh, so I don't know like what game they're playing. Uh, most likely, the, those two realtors uh, will share a commission or yeah, something yeah. like this. And uh, yeah, but yeah. also uh -huh. as a bonus, okay. you get. Uh, basically tenants yes who seem to be really nice yeah they seem really nice yeah and so you make money of it right away yeah that's true but at the same time i know i can make way more pretty on daily rent on airbnb it's so true I, I think what i would do is i would keep them for the winter yeah and then we can discuss again in the summer yeah so i think the most important uh i'd say part of this apartment is that it's very close to the subway it's oh one my of the God. best stations and also yeah. it has really thick walls and it's yeah. really warm inside yeah the only problem i need to check the uh, technical drawings i don't know if the floors are reinforced concrete they might yeah. be wood yeah wooden beams but it has stood here for i don't know like 80 years uh, that's actually stalin's it's a stalin yeah. yeah so it's it's been here for a long time so the chances of it getting caught on fire on the wood or like getting destroyed otherwise it's pretty small but in general and that so all right i'll tell you a secret let's, let's walk a bit do you know why i take off my shoes and i use the classic things why well first you know i'm a ukrainian uh, guy so yeah. i like to be polite but second i like to feel the floor oh. i want to feel it with my socks that's true and that's i want to feel thing. if it's um, smooth or not if it's uh there's some damages if some loose like floors if like if it's like uneven so I, I can feel the apartment you know? Yeah. Right. And uh, I didn't hear the noise from the wood. That's a good sign. Yeah. And I didn't hear the noise from the street, which I was shocked. Yeah. Because it is literally on the street. But it, it's freshly renovated. So. Not that much. Yeah. Actually, which apartment does it? No. Let, let's, let's go, let's go Let's go take a look. Maybe we go to the, down the street. Uh-huh. On the fourth floor. Yes. So that's the one. The one on the right. Yeah. Yeah, because the one on the left is uh, closed. Yeah. The one on the right. And they have an air conditioner. So, that one. Yeah. You would need to do some uh, facade work, man. <laughs> yeah, the problem with the change of the facade is you need permits for that. So, you, I mean, you don't, you don't. You do, trust me. Really? Like, 100% without, without even looking right now, I can tell you right now, in Ukraine, these historical buildings, especially in an area like this, they, for anything outside, even if you want to change the windows, you need a permit, and if you don't do it, you can get fucked. Okay. Inside, they don't really care that much. Uh, if it's under your name, and it's like, uh, it's all stuff I kind of went to another place. But I would, I would, what I would rather do is I would rather just pay the jerk or whatever, or somebody in the building to get together and say, like, I'll pay for it. You guys fix it. But I, I wouldn't. Want to do it. But yeah, it is very cool. Like it's not quite as cool as being in that that side but actually you still see the kia food market so and, uh, there is a funny fact so you see that building the orange the one? red one yeah yeah so that's an ex-apartment of our third president oh who fled the country <laughs> okay maybe we can uh, move in there yeah <laughs> that's a nice one yeah. so andre is stalking this entrance to see if anyone comes out so you can ask them questions yeah ask about the residents so guys, we decided to walk around back to check it out. And what do you think? Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. It's actually quiet and this building protects uh, the yard from the yeah. noise. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look. All right. So let's try to find out which apartment it is. But it's nice. There is parking here. So in case I ever got a car, which I won't. But you can tell, you know what? You, you know, uh, I found out people just kind of put these in. Like the... Like the residents that like yeah yeah they're just, they're just parking spot yeah and they just put one in they're like okay this one's mine yeah. that's it <laughs> oh, can you explain what a Stalin is yeah basically it's uh, those are buildings that were built during the Stalin's era and uh, there are three kinds of them and the first one is uh, for lower like let's say for lower classes yeah like still they were working for the government but they wouldn't be as nice okay but this one 
I think they were built for for the top class, you know, because there is a parliament nearby. Uh -huh. I think the people who were working there, they would get apartments here. And I think the design too with the, um, what do you call it? So during kind of that USSR time, they wanted, they just need a lot of housing. Yeah. And in general, it was supposed to be just kind of bare bones, but for kind of the upper echelon, I guess, their buildings had like points or stars, kind of a little yeah. more decoration on top. How yeah. I can tell that this is actually a top notch. Wow. First of all, it has a fireplace. Oh, Secondly, yeah. it has columns. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it had these decorative elements, yeah. these little niceties. Yeah. And it's a big size too. Yeah. So. so we can expect that the basically the floors are concrete, not wooden. I hope so. Yeah. Let's check. So we're uh, walking through across the street. We're gonna look at some of this babushka tea, lavender. Uh, this is actually babushka. It's a natural chai. That's that chai. Uh, tea. Natural chai. Uh, natural tea. Uh, chamomile. Uh -huh. uh, also lavender. Uh -huh. Mint. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. and uh, like a mix of herbs. Uh -huh. And the other two, I don't know the names. Uh -huh. <laughs> What did he, he got chamomile, yeah? Uh, chamomile? Uh, this is chamomile. Yeah, I told you how true uh, chamomile, Pajos. Uh, Ramashka. Ramashka. Skolka? 50. Yeah. Ramashka? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a mint, yeah. Skolka mm -hmm. uh, nata? Uh, mint is 80. Okay. It's bigger, but it's bigger. Do you want some tea as well? No, no, thank you. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Or does it taste like tea? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay, man. Thank you. No, no, I want to buy you tea. No, no, it's no. fine. Really. I want to buy you tea because it's like coming off today. <laughs> yeah. Which one, are you on chamomile or mint? I'm fine, I'm fine, really. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does she not like it? Uh, we just don't drink this. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't uh, come. Is this pajamas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is like real flower. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Camille Babushka. From Moscow. Moscow Babushka. It's a very good stuff. It's great A herbs. So strong, in fact. She says you can brew it two cups of tea <laughs> with the same herbs. Yeah. And in case you're wondering why we're speaking this godfather voice, <laughs> this guy playing in the subway. So, just through here, the coolest spot in Kiev, Kiev Food Market. Some people ask how to afford to buy all these markets. It's because I'm not afraid to take the mushroom jet. As my boy Pretty Set often says, can't love me on the bus, you ain't gonna love me in a bit. <laughs> 